Joe here at Reverb.com, and we are taking a look at some Robert Fripp ideas and riffs. This lesson is about Robert Fripp's tuning. NST, New Standard Tuning, Robert Fripp developed in the early 1980s. So it's going to be C, G, D, A, E, and G. A low C. Obviously a very open, much more open tuning, covers a wider range of notes uh, in the open position. Interesting that um, the first five strings are uh, tuned to fifths. So if you play mandolin or violin or cello, um, then you have some of the same technique there. You have some of the same shapes you can use. Also uh, important to note, don't just grab your guitar and try to tune it like this. Definitely have it set up or if you know how, how to do that, you know, set it up. There's also some more information on the blog about which gauge strings to use and what scale length works best. A couple of the strings will be under a lot of tension, so you don't want to just grab your guitar and try to tune it like that. You'll snap a string. I don't expect to necessarily get in the mind of Robert Fripp in this lesson, but this is an interesting idea that just throwing your guitar into this tuning will automatically unlock certain ideas and certain things, right? As guitar players, we all um, are accustomed to and sometimes are limited to shapes. Um, that's the way that we learn, that's the way that most of us think. Sometimes I find myself just getting boxed in by my own limitations because I'm playing shapes that I just go to all the time, right? Having a completely wild tuning makes those shapes and those licks that I go to all the time sound completely different. So much so that a couple of them, I've realized, uh, sound really cool and then I, I go to a standard tuning guitar and I transcribe that and figure out what shape I'll, I would need to play in order to get that lick. Okay, so let's go through and some shapes that maybe a lot of us know. Okay, let's just, let's just burn a couple of scales here in new standard tuning. Uh, minor pentatonic, right? Super cool. Okay, major pentatonic. Let's do that one. Got a Lydian thing to it. It's got that sharp four. So part of the fun here, or all of the fun, is that I don't know what's what it's going to sound like. That's the interesting thing about this. It's like, I expect a certain tonality to come out of a certain shape. We all do. We play a major chord or minor chord or whatever. And to, to throw our, 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 our tuning out of whack so that that doesn't happen, that's, that's opening up our, our musical mind, I feel. Okay, let's say you wanted to play uh, an F major chord. And then a uh, seventh fret here uh, uh, with your ring finger, I guess. And then pinky here. So we've got root, fifth, major third, and another root. Say we wanted to make that minor, you know how to do that, right? Just take your major third and move it down one half step to the minor third. That's like, that sounds like no major or minor chord I've ever played before. So, explore it. I'm going to continue to do so right now. And uh, that's Robert Fripp's new standard tuning. I hope you learned a little bit about some alternate ideas to unlock different parts of your brain. You can check out our other Robert Fripp videos online. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.